Ooh-wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. It's cutting time. It's cutting time for the Umu by Custom Knife Factory. Loaned to us by JR. We're going to go out and we're going to have a little fun with this. Got to find out how sharp it was yesterday. Took off a bunch of arm hair. It's really nice. But today is not about talking about it. If you want to know anything about this knife, go to the link below. It's the first video that I did on this one where it talks about everything and everything you need to and want to know. All right, so today's cutting. Let's go cut. All right, so first things first, let's get a good look at this thing in the light. Man, this is one really nice looking knife. Uh, the people over at um, Custom Knife Factory, CKF, they did a great job on this. I think the design quality alone, fan freaking tastic. Fan freaking tastic. But we're talking about how do it do? How does it slice? How does it cut? How strong is it? How able in the hand is it? Um, this thing is just super, super nice. Um, completely, completely impressed. All right, so let's bring you guys to a good level here. Let's get this to a good level here. And let's get some work done, man. Let's get some capital work done. So let's do some, um, we'll start with some four foot gravity drops. See that bite? And the tip dives in really nicely on a gravity bite. And then we're going to do a couple hard downward throws and see how that framing lock's going to hold. Oh, that's a lot of vibration right there. Woo, that's a lot of vibration. Look at that. So one thing we found with the liner lock is it didn't close on me. The, obviously the frame lock, which we just saw, did close. So that is all from hard downward throwing and vibration. That's why we do this test. That's why we do this test. But let's see. Did you hear that click? So I have to say, in the hand, you're not going to have problems with it because you're putting pressure on there. So if I was to hold it, I'm not scared to come down on it because I know that my hand right there, and I'm, I'm, I know you guys can't tell, but I'm actually hitting it pretty hard. Short stroke, but I'm a big, strong guy. Um, I'm putting it about an inch into the wood. I'm hitting it, it's not closing on me, and the reason is because when you have it in your hand, there's pressure on this bar. Pressure on that bar, even just a little bit. So if I did that same thing, you see how it's not doing that click anymore? Away from the bar. And it did it again, it made the little click. So I'm getting a really positive traction with my hand on it. With your hand off of this bar, you're gonna get some rattle and that'll close. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, you don't do that, right? It's not what it's made for. It's made to hold on to and use that way. Um, going straight out so far, it's working. It seemed going down, it was, it was, it was really rattling. But again, when you're using a knife, it's in your hand. So do you have to worry about it closing on you accidentally? No, I have zero fears of that happening. Um, actually, let's start with this. Let's start with a nylon rope, half inch. Let's give it a, a nice downward push cut. And that was pretty simple. That was pretty simple indeed. That was a, uh, that was a nice clean cut. I got some of this, some of this hose right here. Let's give it a nice cut of the, um, this is fuel line hose. So it's got the uh, nylon in it, a nice tough hose. And we're gonna come down, cut that right in half. Now what I like to do is I wanna cut it while it's in a tiny piece because cutting it in a tiny piece, um, you wanna find out how much control you're gonna get. Um, cutting a tiny piece like this in half especially rubber, it's gonna move. If the, if the blade is dull, it will shift. If the blade is not dull, it will cut in half. So luckily on this, the edge is masterfully done. Really, really nice. Now, if you're concerned about a knife closing on you while it's not in your hand, all right, think about a different knife. But if you're using a knife with it not in your hand, you might be using it wrong. All right, so. Let us continue. Oh, I moved things. 
I was getting ready to go over to the plastic net, but I moved it. I do have a piece right here just randomly sitting here. It must have blown away. So let's try and cut this plastic netting, which is the death of blades. And let's see. Whoop. Went too far. Went all the way to the crosso on that one. Oh, I'm going to stab my fingers. I'm running out of room here. That's the problem. But you can see so far, it's cutting no problem. No problem. Let's hold it upside down, see if we can't get a rip cut. My hands will work. And here we go. That ripped it right off. Let's try another one of those. And this test right here is two things. We want to see if it's going to rip through, which it did. And we want to see if the plastic is going to chip this blade in any way, shape, or form, which it clearly did not. And, uh, and you'd think, why would it chip it? Believe me, if you watch this channel any, you'll see that that plastic netting has done some damage on some blades because it's plastic. Uh, so let's come over here and grab the old soccer ball and do some do some skinning. If this is the, the knife you have and you're out and about and you are in danger, you gotta survive. Well, look at that. Look at that. That thing is sharp, man. That knife is deadly, deadly sharp. Uh, this thing, this thing is a uh, no problem task maker. If only I can get it to stop moving. And you'll notice I'm using power and I'm thrusting and I'm not worried about it closing on my hand. I'm not wearing gloves for that reason. I have no fear because it's not gonna close on my hand. I have my hand on the actual bar. I have no worries, no fears. It does feel really good in the hand too. It does feel really good. If you're scared, if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I saw it make a click once, so that means it's bad, by all means, it's not your knife. If you are, if you don't live in fear and you understand how knives work, you'll realize that's just part of the game. All right, so you know what? Let's start, let's start right here. Nice side grip on this. Uh-huh. The stick is stabbing me in the elbow pit. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. So feathering, things like that, carving, whittling, you're gonna be able to use this knife all day long for your cuts. Remember, this is an EDC, this isn't a survival knife. It just comes down to, what if this is the knife you have and you need to survive? Are you going to be able to? Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Look at this, short chops. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Um, I like it. I like it. I think so far, every what I've tested, the three things from them, I have really liked. Um, I have to say that I really love the Capitalist. I thought that thing was just amazing. But you can see, this is a really nice knife. This is a really nice knife. All right, so vibrations and closing. We'll find out if it happens on batoning. Don't baton that. It's like a thousand million dollar knife. All right, so we're gonna baton on it anyway. And it didn't close because my hand was on the lock. And that's one good thing about a frame lock is you control, wow, you control that lock. That went straight through. Um, you control every bit along the way. Um, that's the difference between frame and liner. With a liner lock, you can't put pressure on it really while you're doing something like this. So with a liner lock, you're gonna get that vibration. It's gonna move, it's gonna happen. Um, not with the frame lock. With the frame lock, you control the pressure on the lock. You control it from stopping. So as long as it's in your hand, um, you're going to have a very, very easy time controlling what you want this thing to do and what you don't want it to do. Um, so far, so far, I just like it. I just like it. It's just a nice knife because it's full titanium frame. It's really light. Um, feels good in the hand. The, uh, the way they did all their serrations and everything like that, just excellent. Just excellent. They did a good job. All right, we're almost done here. We're almost done, guys. So I got this piece of vine right here out of the tree. Let's just check this thing. Look at that. That's a vine. I don't know if you guys have vines where you live or if you have vines where you live. You know this stuff is like rubber. It's tough. And this thing just, I mean, straight through it. 
I have to say, this is a really nice knife. Does it close on vibration? Yes. Do you get vibration while holding it? No. And the reason is because that little bar right there is exposed. Um, and <laughs> you know what happens when we expose ourselves. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. For the money, would I spend that much money on it? Me personally, no, I can't see spending that much money on this. Um, if I saw one on sale, like 50% off, hell yeah. Um, I think it's really sweet. I think it's really sweet. Um, it's a little dirty right now. So all those lines are gonna have to come off. I need to polish this thing before I send it back to JR. But damn, I'm so happy I got to check this out. So happy. This knife is really, really nice. Um, so let's see, after banging on it and all that, is there gonna be any loosening? No, there's nothing going on with that. Um, clearly there's no rolling or chipping or anything like that. Everything is really sturdy on this blade. <sighs> it's just nice. This is nice, that cutting edge is gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna polish it, um, clean it, polish it, hone it, put it back in the package and send it back to JR. So uh, this was this was a good chance to test two really great knives um, from this company. You can check out the other videos. Um, but this thing, this thing's this thing's pretty fantastic. This thing's pretty fantastic indeed. Uh, if you are looking to buy a high-end knife and you want something, check out this company. Even if this isn't your knife, if this isn't the one you like, even though I love this blade design, um, check out their stuff because from what I know just off of the three I've tested, man, these are great freaking knives. They are just great. Um, yeah, so I, I believe he's going to send a couple more and we'll get to test those. Uh, just awesome, man. Awesome. So that's it for this one. We even kept it under, under 13 minutes. Not so bad. Uh, I am Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.